Hey, what's up everyone? We are headed to Western Avenue in the Koreatown neighborhood of Los Angeles. We're going to J. Boo Do, which is a restaurant that specializes in grilling shellfish. Hey dude, what are you doing on my show, man? First of all, it's J. Boo Do. Secondly, are you really hungry right now? Because I'm gonna feed you so much shellfish. It's Korean barbecue, but no meat. It's all seafood. It's every critter under the ocean. I cannot wait to eat this food. It sounds delicious. What does Jebu Do mean? Do is actually island. Okay. How do I order? Okay, so you point to this one. Yeah. And you say, Igo hana juseyo. Hana juseyo. Si kombo hana juseyo. Si kombo hana juseyo. Si kombo hana juseyo. Hana juseyo. Now, what is this? See, we need this in order to have our oysters straight from the pit. So actually, this is not everything we're gonna get. You gotta be kidding. I want you to go from dining on a dime to dining in K-Town. Don't rub it in my face. You get to spend so much more money then dining on a dime. I literally get 10 cents. <laughs> the interesting thing about the way that Koreans approach shellfish mm -hmm. and this kind of seafood is that we're celebrating how beautiful it is on its own, yeah. but we're not afraid to like totally coat it with this super spicy over the top sauce. You know, I think sometimes like, let's say like Japanese seafood is, is all about like, oh, shit, it's pure. but I think Koreans are like, eh, it's fine, but let's have some fun. <laughs> Manila clam. So you use this one to handle it. Yeah. You you pluck these out. Yeah. Oh my God! You just got me. Did I? <laughs> Sorry about that. This is cho gochujang, so it's sort of like a loosened um, gochujang. Okay. The spicy Korean chili paste. Yes. And this is just like a house chili sauce they made. It's a little spicier. Delicious. Utterly simple. You have a tasty spicy sauce and you have pristine seafood. There's no effing around with this, you know? That is still super hot, even with these gloves on. I know this is unconventional, but I'm going two gloves. Mm. Steaming clam. You go to the white clam? Go to white clam. I'm gonna dig into this guy here. You really see the, the necessity of the Michael Jackson glove, though. Who knew that all this time, Michael Jackson was grilling shellfish in Korean restaurants? Yeah. And that's why he wore the glove. <laughs> that's why he did it. <laughs> Holy crap, that is like eating the ocean. The broth that comes out of here is so briny. It's like, it's like hot seawater. Wow. Oh, yeah, the clams just keep getting bigger. Wow, you can hear those threads snapping as that clam opens. Got this creaminess in the middle, right? Oh yeah. That's just decadent. It's like a happy medium between the previous two clams we ate. I feel like that second one, the medium sized one, was like incredibly briny. Yeah, so that was a little more intense. That was like even though it was bigger. The product is so fresh, it's you know, it's so pristine that um, you, you really can taste the subtleties between each clam. I gotta pitch a show where I eat really expensive food. <laughs> And in here we have conch with a whole um, giant clam that's been chopped up. Amazing. Kind of sitting in this broth. That is so good, that broth. Oh yeah. That is like buttery. That is just like, this is like what I would want in like clam chowder, like what I would want the soup base to be. Mm. All the different cuts of conch and scallop and giant clam, every little bite you get slightly different texture. are just like scallops that have been covered in the chogochujang, basically. Tender, buttery. Definitely not pencil erasers. Pink scallops. Pink scallops. Yeah. Okay. It, it's definitely different than the base scallops. Mm. Much more tender, like richer, butterier. I feel like we're just ramping up the awesomeness with every stage.
more tender, just the face, but the edges yeah. are a little chewier. It's like a chewy, it's a nice creamy inside, like a good grilled oyster should be. Wow. What is this? At live abalone. I mean, you got it. I mean, look at that. It is, it's like writhing right now. Abalone, a delicious type of sea snail. I mean, it's almost like eating a mushroom. I guess a mushroom is not a bad way to put it. Like, no. almost like shiitake mushroom. Even like a... It even has a texture of a cooked shiitake mushroom. Thick ass shiitake, yeah. Sweet shrimp. First class service. It's all table side too, you know? Ultimate shrimp cocktail shrimp right here. It's interesting that you say cocktail because this spicy sauce is sort of like a cocktail sauce. What an incredible meal this is. Oh God. Can we also draw attention to what a slob Matt Kang is? He now has seafood juice and gochujang all over himself. My wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> Just get that stain stick. Shout it out! Oh, you know what I'm saying? I think the claw is actually my favorite part. You like the claw? Yeah, yeah. I'm a claw guy. I like a nice piece of tail meat. You're a tail guy? Okay. The hagfish start out with kind of this really pinkish color, but actually you know they cook when they turn kind of a whitish color. Oh, okay. Kind of looks like an eel or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's eel-like. I mean, it's these like long, look at these guys. They are bottom feeders. They have four hearts. It's the only creature that has a skull but no spine. A cartilagey crunch. I don't think it's like firmer than like the abalone. No, but it would be like if you like took a bite out of my ear. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. Oh, we gotta have a little octopi. Yeah. Like, I didn't think that you could ever have just have too much seafood, but this may be too much seafood. Hey, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing seafood odyssey. Thank you for having K-Town. me. Man, I love you, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of K-Town, click right here.